All right, so load of the day is cleaners, vacuums, all the whole kit and caboodle pretty much from the uh, cleaning company in town. Yeah, so a lot of motors on them that I gotta take off, a lot of wire, a lot of goodies on these babies. Lots of goodies. Goodies, 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 goodies. Um, we got vacuums. So I asked them what these vacuums run. Leave me a comment, guys, if you think you can guess what one of these vacuum cleaners, these are commercial vacuum cleaners, sell for brand new. And let's see, how many's on here? Let's see, we got, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably eight or nine on here, and then that's not including this big guy. <laughs> I'll let you know what this big guy's worth. Brand new to buy it. Oh, yeah. This one here you sit on and drive. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know. And you know those other ones that I get? I'll let you know what they're worth, too. If you guys want to take a guess, just an estimate, to see what these ones are worth, these here, leave me a comment, and I'll uh, let you know in a few, if anybody's even close. Yeah. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. But they are commercial, right, guys? So, yeah. This is what I, I think I picked up probably at least a good three or four half-ton loads of these, plus today's trailer load of mixture of hosh potch of stuff, which is all money in my pocket and i don't know what this is looks like it's got a rat in it though aluminum copper rat in it so i don't know what that is some kind of something you put gas in maybe i'm thinking i don't know i'll have to see what it is i'm sure it's not cheap because these are all uh commercial uh things that uh get used for we'll see around here we'll see Okay, so essentially, these big ones, obviously, they use them in the hospitals. They use them, we have Queen's University, we have St. Lawrence um, in the city of Kingston. So, um, and then, of course, don't, for, like, don't forget, like, the malls and stuff use big ones like this, too. But not quite as big as this. They have the other ones, the smaller ones that I have. Um, but, yeah, I was shocked when he told me what this baby's worth, brand new. I was like, whoa! You know what I mean? I'm like, no way! <laughs> and then they told me what the other ones, the medium-sized ones that I usually get. I can usually get, what, um, three of them, I think? On my truck, on my half-ton. Three or four, I can get on my half-ton. So, yeah. I don't know what these are worth. I forgot to ask them what these go for. I can imagine. I can just imagine, because they're all, like I said, they're all commercial and, uh, commercial uh, use and stuff so i can just imagine oh yeah the motor must be at the back there's a motor in these obviously there's a motor in because they're electric right guys so yeah that's where your filters are we got brand new filters in them like i said what happens he says is that uh, they vacuum up water out of a rug that's wet and then it burns the motor out of it or it starts making a Kind of like a little knocky knocky and the, the motor thing. So, yeah. But, yeah, these guys want to leave me a guess what these 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 ones here go for. And I'll tell you what they're going for in uh, an update video. I guess I got to clean all these. I got to take all the... This would be... I just took a load of these to the scrapyard yesterday. Yeah. I took a load of these to the scrapyard yesterday along with uh, a wash machine I had on. And I made, what, a hundred and... $32, guys, but I had a little bit of copper on there, too, and then it had all the dirty aluminum I had, too, because the handles are dirty aluminum, so I break them off or cut them off with the Sawzall because these are aluminum right here, so I cut them off the Sawzall, and I get paid 25 cents instead of 15 point whatever it is for steel shred. Yeah. Got to know where to save the bucks, guys. Got to save a dollar here, save a dollar there. A penny saved is a penny earned, and they took the motor out of that one air. It's in the back of my truck. So I threw it in there, and I guess a couple other small pieces in there, but that was it. I didn't need the half ton, I just needed the trailer, because we there's no way I was lifting that up on the truck. So so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload all this, clean it. I should actually just clean this big one. Take all that, mat, all that copper out of it, which won't be hard, because it all runs underneath. And then just cut it out. Yeah, this will be easy to clean. Just this little pile right here. And then once this is all loose, you just gotta kind of want to kick it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tractor. I'll put it in the bucket of the tractor, put it in my truck, take it up, and I'll take some of these vacuum cleaners. I cleaned up except for I got one last night, one last night, and a bunch of skids and stuff because I needed more skids. Oh, you wanna see my skid piles coming? I believe my. Let's see this here. I lost my pin somewhere, guys, for my trailer. 
um, the pin that holds the, uh, the wreaths in. The, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was when I took that one off, or when I took one of the other ones off. So a good thing I had another pin for my, uh, for this. Because I got one on it obviously right now, now. So I lost the pin. What I mean is this. It goes in between here. Where my finger is. It's somewhere around here on the ground. But anyhow, I'll show you guys how my wood pile is coming in here. This still, I haven't done anything with this because I can't get in here yet, guys. So look at all that. Yeah, I got all that last night already pretty much just piled inside. And my ice skate pile at the back. Yeah. And this is all my free lumber that I got from a friend that uh, we, we used it. I built uh, my my nephew built um, a ramp for my mom out of this wood. It's just deck. It's like yeah, they threw it out. I came in in a dump truck load, and they asked me if I wanted it. I'm like yeah. I used a lot of it for the uh, the goat pen too. Yeah, and two by fours. I still got some of them over there, but they're actually not uh, they're not eight foot long. I think they're longer than that over there. But all this stuff in here, I just kept this in here to keep the rain off and stuff. So bonus. I think my sister Peg's coming in. But yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome so far, guys. I haven't even showed you what I got in the other building for wood. But yeah, I gotta clean up around here the brush and stuff. There's some right there. Nope.